<laughs> oh, hi there. Welcome to my channel. I'm Georgia Harris. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, my name is Leah and I love makeup. Today I am doing the Georgia Harris makeup collection tag. So if you want to know more about me and all of my goodies, make sure you stay tuned. So earlier today I was catching up on some of my very favorite YouTubers and I noticed that Georgia Harris posted a video yesterday where she started her very own tag called the makeup collection tag. She listed a bunch of questions about my make or about her makeup collection that she answered and now I'm going to be answering them about me. So question number one is how long have you collected makeup? Um, I have collected makeup probably since I was 19 to 20. Um, I started working full time when I was pretty young like in my like when I was eight, 19, I started working full time, so I had a lot of extra money um, because, you know, you don't really have bills when you're that young. So I spent a lot of money on makeup. I would go to Target probably every day and buy something. Um, there was a time I did a huge declutter where I threw away a literal, a literal garbage bag full of old and expired makeup. There was a few that I hung on to that I run into every once in a while. I'll show them off at some point, but it's pretty funny. Um, the next question is, what kind of a makeup collection do you have? My my collection is mostly drugstore and affordable stuff, but it's stuff that I want to use. So I have quite a few things, like you can see all my palettes back here and some of my collection up here. Um, a lot of it that I've purchased myself is definitely affordable pieces because I don't have a ton of money, but there's a lot of really great stuff out there that you don't need to pay a ton of money for. Um, I do have a few pieces that I did invest in that I just really, really like personally and I knew that they were limited so I um, grabbed them to hang on to. But other than that, I try to keep my collection of things I know that I'll be able to use and that are affordable. The next question is, are you a completionist? Um, no, I am not. There's a lot of people who need to get every single piece of either a brand that they are absolutely in love with or a line that they're really into or a whole collection of something. I am a little bit more practical in <laughs> what I choose to spend my money on. So I don't feel like I need every single piece because every single piece of a line or a collection is not gonna work for me. Um, so that's why I am typically not a completionist. I like to pick and choose the things that I know um, work. So I do tend to do things like go and try things before I purchase them because that helps me know what will and will not work and what I want, what I actually want to invest in. How do you store slash organize your makeup collection? Um, well, most of it's right here in this room and I try to keep it to these shelves back here. So I've got all of my palettes here on this shelf. I've got um, just kind of miscellaneous little random things, a few clear plastic drawers with um, lip color and mascara in it and then down here I've got this little guy that's got most of my pencils in it, liquid lipsticks, brow products, all of that. So I try to keep this as organized as possible. Oh my gosh. And then I've also got this guy that I keep lip colors and concealers and um, mascaras and things like that. And I really like this. I got it at Target a while ago and I don't think they have it there anymore. And then for brushes, I've got them in these kind of clear things that I got at the dollar store and I think they're really nice. I prefer these to anything else for storage because they are shaped like this. So you can see what you've got in there for brushes so much easier than something that's straight up and down where they kind of hold them all like this. I like them fanned out. So these were, I think they're maybe flower vases or candle holders, but I got them at the dollar store and I absolutely love them. Let's see, next question is, what is your favorite thing about your makeup collection? Um, that's a really interesting question. I think my favorite thing about my makeup collection is that it is totally me. Like when you see a lot of this stuff, you're like, oh, that's something Leah would totally buy or that's definitely Leah. Um, although some of my lip colors are all very similar, so I do have a trend. What is your least favorite thing about your makeup collection? Um, probably the products that I tried and do not like. Like I've got quite a few foundations that haven't been working for me and it's kind of a bummer because like I know you can return them but I'm just too lazy and I never keep my receipt. So the thing I don't love about my collection is when I look at my um, shelf with foundations on it and I'm like ah, I only use maybe two of those. What is the biggest category in your makeup collection? I would say eyeshadow palettes. <laughs> I think that's everyone's biggest category. That and lip colors. Um, I have a ton of lip color and a ton of eyeshadow and liquid shadow. I love liquid eyeshadow, so I have a bunch of those too. 
What is the smallest category in your collection? Powder, setting powder. I don't use it much, so I have two. Um, one is a pressed powder from Rimmel, and one is another powder that I got in a BoxyCharm. So I don't go out of my way to purchase powder, so I guess that's it. Do you have a holy grail in your collection? Um, so holy grail, to me is like the thing that's your ride or die you love it the most and you use it all the time for everything um what is that what would that be for me i have so many things that i like and then it like moves in and out of favorite if you will but i would say that i really like oh here's the thing i love i love this and it's right here and it's almost empty <laughs> this is the l'oreal lotion in um the shade fair glow because this is a really good primer that is kind of a dupe of some really really expensive stuff it's really iridescent and pink and makes your skin super glow under pretty much any foundation so this I use a lot this is I think the third one and I'm not a repurchaser so that's how you know I really really like this the next question is do you ever wish your collection was bigger or smaller um I think I wish it was a little bit bigger in the sense that there's so many things that I would like to own um But, you know things can always get bigger i think there is a thing on youtube with beauty you know beauty gurus that they have these huge rooms just full of makeup and everyone's just starts drooling over them but it also comes down to they don't use that so i like to be able to use a lot of the stuff that i have so it's kind of tough because i want 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 so much of this stuff but then when i think about it am i going to really use it probably not so much um so i don't know i think it could be smaller. I know there's a lot of stuff I can definitely declutter and maybe make room for some new things, but I guess the answer of the question is I would like it to be bigger. How often do you declutter? Not as often as I should. Usually when I am sitting in this room, this is like my beauty filming room and where I get ready, and I look around and I'm like, I have too much crap in here. That's when I'll like start to really go through things. But typically I don't like have a, you know, monthly declutter. It's time to get rid of some stuff. So probably more than I should is the answer to that one. Do you ever get envious of seeing other collections? Um, I did talk about that a little bit um, in the last few questions. Yes, because some of the stuff is gorgeous and I just can't afford it at this point in my life. But I think there's something to like my fledgling growing collection and um knowing that you know i'll get there someday who has the best makeup collection video um that's a good question i think i really like desi's video where she organizes everything and you can see just like holy moly she's got a lot of makeup plus i love her desk she has a desk that she does her makeup on and it's got an acrylic top to it so the whole thing is clear and the drawers are clear i love that because i love that you can see what you have there like when you look at things that are in like a drawer that you can't see you don't know what you have so you're really letting your product just kind of sit there and go to waste because it's a human nature thing that if you can't see it you're probably not going to use it and when you have a lot of stuff um if you don't see it you're not going to think about it or remember that you have it so I really like that one. Another one I really like is Andrea Matalano. I think that's how you say her last name. I'm sorry if it's not, but she does a lot of collection videos and she has a lot of really cool stuff and she's really up to date on new things. So it's really fun to watch her collections and watch her declutters because she's super informative on why she likes something and why she doesn't like something and she's got everything. So it's kind of fun to watch her videos too. And finally, do you have any advice for future collectors? I would say my advice is to just get what you like. Um, I think that there's a lot of pressure to like get the latest newest thing and because everybody's talking about it and you need to have it and it's so great but a lot of it is a lot of people are talking about things because they got them in PR and that's just the wave of PR right now. So really kind of seek out the things that you like and check out independent brands. I think that is a huge thing for collections is that there are so many new really awesome brands out there that don't get a lot of um, I guess airtime is a word or <laughs> attention is another one um so i think there's a lot of really cool indie brands out there that are doing really great things that could be a really fun finds for your collection that could be something that really hits home for you um so that would be my biggest tip is check out the indie brands
All right, you guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed hearing my little tidbits on my collection using Georgia Harris's makeup collection tag. If you have any other questions, I would be very glad to answer them, so drop them in the comments below. Um, anything else you wanna add, I'd love to hear that too. All right, you guys, have a super great rest of your day, and we'll talk to you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.